Hi Dan, welcome to our next video on elastic potential energy. This is a continuation from our last video, but in this video we're going to be looking at some exam questions. So let's get started. Our first exam question states, the spring constant of a spring is 40 newtons per meter. Calculate the energy transferred to the spring when it extended by 0 0.45 meters. Give your answer to two significant figures and it's worth three marks first of all you need to write out the equation this is 0 0.5 multiplied by your spring constant multiplied by your change in um, your change in length squared so this is the extension squared so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by the spring constant which is 40 newtons per meter and it's in the correct unit multiplied by 0 0.45 which is also in the correct unit squared now we have our equation all we need to do is type it into the calculator 0 0.5 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 0 0.45 squared that will give us an answer of 4.05 4.05 joules and that is to two significant figures so we will get three marks for the correct answer and the working out an extended question now the image below shows a student before and after a bungee jump the bungee cord has been unstretched um, length of 20 meters. So we have the bungee cord over here. This is before and this is after. And over here we have the student and over here we have the lowest point of the student. At the beginning, the student is on the bridge and he's about to jump all the way down by the bungee cord and this is the bungee cord over here the bungee cord this is the extension of it and the person is over here so now let's answer these questions before the student jumps from the bridge he has a store of so remember he is stable however he is not on the floor he's on a bridge so he is on higher ground than on the floor so he is going to have gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy and when he is falling the student store of something energy increases so whenever the student is falling he is going at a quick speed straight down so this means whenever something is moving it must have kinetic energy so we know that this is going to be kinetic energy when the bungee cord is stretched the cord stores energy as so remember anything which stretches has elastic potential energy and this is the energy stored from this bungee cord all the way when it lets go and it stretches all the way down this stretch is the elastic potential energy so we know that the answer to this is going to be elastic potential energy at the lowest point in the jump when the student is stationary, the extension of the bungee cord is 35 meters. So we know the extension. The bungee cord behaves like a spring with a spring constant of 40 newtons per meter. We know the spring constant as well. Calculate the energy stored in the stretched bungee cord. So we have to do a calculation. So the first step is going to be writing out the formula which is a half multiplied by the spring constant multiplied 
by the change in length delta x squared so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by the spring constant which is 40 newtons per meter multiplied by the extension which is 35 meters squared and they're all in the correct value the correct um, formula so all we need to do is type this into our calculator so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 35 squared this will give us an answer of 2 4 5 and 2 zeros 24,500 and the answer is measured in joules if you wanted to we can convert this to kilojoules which would be dividing by a thousand it would give us to uh, 24.5 uh, kilojoules and that will give you possibly five marks for the correct answers over here and the working out with the correct answer over here and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell